In this lesson, let's go and see how we can create a variable using the five rules that we have previously learned about. So we have a five rules and we will go and see how we can create a variable using these five rules. So let's go and start first. So before we start, let's change the name of this one to variables and let's just save this one. And now we have a jobs with a variable name. So first, let me copy this one and let's copy this one and let's go down over here. I'll just give a single line comment and we have a name must be limited to escalators digit and underscore character so let's take a so let's take one variable of string and let's say it's a let's say a name right so name this is perfectly fine because we have a, a letters over here and let's create another name uh, another variable name which would be uh, string data type string data type and let's say we have a first underscore name which is a perfectly fine and we also say another one str okay we'll say underscore last name sorry last name underscore one so which is perfectly fine if we try to save this one and if we try to compile it we don't have any error which means that is perfectly fine and we'll see the next one which is second one let's copy this one and let's give a single line comment and later can be either uppercase or lowercase and if you try to say Another, let's take another data type of integer and we'll say age or, or we can also say we can say it's an uppercase or a lowercase whether you start with a uppercase or whether you start with a lowercase so that a variable name can start with upper or lowercase we don't have any problem with that and let's save this one and we can also say H and we can say address or we say sorry it should be pin code right so we don't have any error if you try to compile this one so we don't have any error which means that we can start with a low case or upper case and let's take the third one over here just copy this one and we will just give a single line comment over here and it says the name are not case sensitive so which means that let's give a str and let's say we give a address or we give another one like str and address so which we are giving an here address and address which is starting with lowercase and here is starting with the uppercase it will be treated as a same so whether we give a lowercase over here or we give a uppercase over here it will be treated as a one variable only variable name so let's try to save this one and if we try to compile now we should have some error over here so the name has already the name address has already assigned to another variable so which means that this one has an error because we already have a address over here and it's treating as a same variable name so we need to comment this one right and let's try to restore again and we will type to compile it back and let's open it up again so we don't have any error over here and let's take a fourth one fourth rules that we need can follow and uh, sorry we have to comment it over here the first character must be either a letter or underscore a character so let's say another one str and let's say date of birth we have dob and the first character must be either letter or underscore character so we, this should be underscore character dob or it should be a letter dob so if we try to add a digit on the first let's see what will happen so if we try to say one dob and if we try to compile this one 
So when we compile it, we don't have any error. Let's try to see how we can find out the error over here. And let's try to info this out. And let's try to info this out. And let's say str format. And we will format this one. And let's try to print out. Okay, I will say one. So, and I'll just try to print out this one. And let's see. Okay, sorry, we need to cross the bracket again, two bracket. And let's try to run this. And we have an error over here, right? So let's try to comment this one. And let's try to copy this one and paste it over here. And let's try to execute it again, run. So we can run it perfectly without any error. But what we, if we try to put this one and if we try to run this code again, sorry, here. If we try to run this code again here, we will have an error because that is not a valid code because the one, a, a variable name should not start with a, a numbers or a digit. So if we try to give over here something like this, it's also not a valid one if you try to run it we still have some uh, error over here because this is not a valid but if we try to delete this one and if we try to make it underscore dov and let's try to execute or run the command we can successfully run so which means that a variable name should not start with a digit so we should always start with a letter on a underscore character so that is the fourth rules that we need to follow. And let's go with our number five rules over here, the last one. And let's give a comment over here. And what it says is variable name can be a thousands of character long. So which means that if, okay, let me scroll it a little bit. And let me say str and we will say a uh, variable name of let's give a but let's give a simple name as d and if it this is a uh, we have a three character over here but if we can also make it as a one character it's no problem right but if we can remember it we can make it a very long sorry we cannot have a special uh, record over here we can make it a very long uh, variable name as as long as uh, is uh, you can remember so we can give a very long name for a variable name or we can give a simple name as one character or we can give a thousands of character long variable that is perfectly fine so these are the five rules that we need to follow when we are creating our variable name so hope you guys had some basic understanding and you can practice more on it and you will understand more so if you have any question on it do let me know and i will see you in the next video till then have a great day